Facing the water on the shore of Kitimat Sound, Sammy Robinson's home and carving studio stand side by side. Sammy is hereditary chief of chiefs of the Heisla Nation, steeped in Heisla history, and he's an independent-minded artist. For years, he made a living as a fishing charter operator, but his one true love, aside from his wife of 60 years, Rose, has always been carving. He started almost 70 years ago, and he had to teach himself. Nobody ever taught me carve. There was nobody around to teach me anyway. Well, uh, but I watched the old, old, old timers. He was always good with his hands, but what got him carving were the stories and traditions. It just fascinated me. Old ways, old carvings, there were some in the village yet. It just fascinated me. Even today, decades later, it's passion, not money, that drives him. Money is a second thing. I don't care if it takes me a week, two weeks, I don't care. As long as it's done the way I want it to be done. He doesn't really market his work. You basically have to go to him up in Kitimat Village. But if he doesn't like you, he won't carve for you anyway. And if he doesn't like a piece, he won't sell it. I don't sell anything if I don't like it. If it doesn't have a meaning, it doesn't mean anything to me. But if he does sell it, he wants his price. One time a chief asked him to carve a piece, and it turned out to be really special. On my third day, the wood started to talk to me. The nose was there, the eye was there, the gills were there, fins were there. I had just had to bring it out of the wood. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, I want to get, get at it again. When I finished it, it was so beautiful, man. How did it happen? But the customer didn't like the price. How much do I owe you, he said. $400, I said. What, he said. He wanted to pay $125 for my two weeks of work. I was kind of happy that he didn't buy it. Because it was a magical piece. Because he didn't see what I seen. So he raised the price, and when it didn't sell, he kept raising the price for several years. It stayed there, I don't know how many years, I raised it 200, 300 every year. Finally, I sold it for 2,200 bucks. I'm sorry I did. If I can buy it back, I'll pay 20,000 for it. Because? Because it's a special one. Sammy always finds a way. One time he wanted to build a house out on the point. When he learned he couldn't, he and some friends carved a pole and raised it among the trees. Now no one's going to build there. At 80 years old, he's still carving. In fact, his studio has four carving spaces, which suits his habit of working on several pieces at a time. He rough shapes them outside. He takes them to the waiting room to see if they crack as they dry. He does the detailed carving in a third space. And upstairs in a room full of hunting memories, he carves jewelry, much of it for his wife Rose. These days he has cut back, a bit. I scale down from 14 hours a day to about eight hours. And still get paid $1.50 an hour. Then again, I don't want to retire. I want to keep doing it till I'm gone from this earth. <laughs>